And good afternoon. We are with Master Sushi Chef Hiro Tarada. Hi, Hiro. How are you? How are you? Yeah, I'm very good. Thank you. So, what's on the menu for today, Hiro? Today, we're going to make a uh, sashimi assortment. Okay. Mm. Uh, ingredients, we have several, you know, the uh, special items. Okay. Here's the broken toro. And next is the white tuna. Okay. Actually, escar. Let's go. Octopus and uh, scallops, potato, and uh, botang ebi, uh, sweet shrimp. Okay. And we're gonna use the salmon. All right. And the uh, yellowtail, hamachi. Okay. And then this is a uh, yellowfin tuna, regular tuna. Okay. So we're gonna kind of combination. You make a beautiful plate for us. On the plate. All right. Okay. Very good. So first we're gonna make a, a garnish. Okay. With a cucumber. All right. Very well. Let's start. How hard is this to learn to do when you're doing it? This one is actually, if it's in Japan, it's a very, very basic, uh, basic skill. Right. Before you making some sushi or stress up the fish, you gotta have to learn this one first. Okay. Very, very uh, fast step. Okay. So the people who got this one, every time I'm doing the demonstration, people uh, look me like a wow. You know, right. Something I'm doing the very difficult things, but uh, this is very basic. Okay. Stop. Right. Let's cut like this. Okay. And then cut into uh, a little bit more smaller. Okay. How oh, that works to get this garnish, huh? Yes, this is going to be garnish. What's the reason I'm soaking it in water, just keeping it fresh? Yes, and uh, actually this one making uh, making fresh. Okay. And uh, after this one, you, you can see. Oh my God. Very nice. So wait a little bit, this one. Okay. Okay, we're going to continue here, Hero. What's next after this? Okay, so we're going to start to all, all the fishes. Uh, set up on the plate. Okay. okay. All right. Here. 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 Yes. Like, like that. Okay. Okay. A lot of you can see the color in this tuna, it's beautiful. It's not a bright red color. It's more of a deep red. 
You can tell fresh tuna just by looking at it. it. Tastes completely different from a lot of those other types of restaurants that sell sushi that use frozen tuna. Now, a lot of our guests have been asking us, why is it that color? Well, they use carbon monoxide to preserve the color. That's why it's frozen and they just gas it just so it retains somewhat of that reddish color. How much yellow hair? Okay. 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 This is a treasure from the sea. Really. Okay.
Okay. Where are these scallops from here? This one's uh, Hokkaido. Hokkaido prefecture from Japan. Oh, from Japan, okay. These are raw scallops. Sweet shrimp. Okay. Take over the head. These are also raw, sweet shrimp? Yeah, this is raw. And then take over the shell. This head, we're okay. going to do a deep fry. Right. Yeah, just take off the list of hard parts. Okay. And then make it deep fry. We got this, we so got this fried? Top, top fried. Okay, just yeah. a little cornstarch, right? That's all. Yes. A little cornstarch. Okay. Like this. Okay, first I'm going to stir up the meats. Two pieces over here. Okay, I just want a decoration. Here. This looks amazing here. A little bit of green. Micro green. Okay. Not to the flowers. Okay. And we're all That's done. It. Let's take a look at this. This is so beautiful. All right. Very special sashimi platter here. Leo, thank you so much. Okay. We'll have right. enjoy this later, right? right? Thank you. If you like this video, please mm -hmm. give us a thumbs up. Please share it and please comment below. Mm -hmm. And see you all very soon. All right. Bye bye. See you.